Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Kine. No, not the Australian Harry Kane, but rather just Kine. Uh, so uh, this was uh, published by Chum Squad, developed by Gwen Frey and is usually available for £16.49 slash $19.99 but does go on sale quite cheap, uh, quite frequently, uh, frequently enough. So always be on the lookout for that. Uh, basically, this is a sort of 3D narrative puzzle game about three daring musician machines that aspire to be musicians. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of puzzles and it is awfully confusing. So hopefully uh, this guide will unconfuse a lot of the confusion in terms of the levels. Uh, in terms of achievements, there's uh, the... There's only 13, 11 of them you'll get for story-related stuff, and there's only two that are sort of miscellaneous ones, um, and we'll get the uh, we'll get one of those early on, and the one at the very end of the game after we have finished the main story. Uh, so this basically should only take you around one to two hours, um, and again, it's going to be one of those without commentary, uh, purely because it's again it's not needed. Um, but what you will see is I'll, I'll sort of ch chime in now and again. Um, the levels, so there's basically a whole bunch of levels with sub-levels in them. They're quite short enough. Um, and obviously, as I said, as you can see here with the puzzle games, it's literally just a case of you having to get to the end. Obviously, it's easy at the minute, but with each machine, you will be able to press the A button in order to expand um, or go up or you, you'll see exactly what I mean in just a minute. Um, obviously, the, these uh, first levels are very easy enough, uh, but it does get more complicated now. Obviously, again, it's more of a case of I tried going, as always, sort of slow, but sort of fast as I can as well. So hopefully going slow enough um, helps you. Oh, here's, here's my favorite bruh, quite the drummer. Uh, but yeah, so I have gone sort of slow. Hopefully you will be able to keep up um, with not too much trouble. Um, but yeah, there's really not a lot else to say. Now, obviously, with uh, Quat, if you press the A button, you can stick his symbols out from each side, which, of course, will help in the long run. And obviously, again, when you go onto your side, you can press the A button again to go up, as you'll be able to see, in order to get across other... But uh, obviously other boxes and so you won't be able to, you actually need Quat to get up there. You can't actually just use the symbol on its own. Um, so yes, it does, genuinely it does take, you know, a, a quick level or two to get used to. But once you are used to it, it's uh, generally not so bad. But again, I've tried going sort of as slow, fast as I can. So hopefully you can keep up noisily.
So then, this is the uh, first level where we're going to get that one miscellaneous achievement. Like I said, the other and only other miscellaneous achievement we will get at the very, very end of the game after the credits roll. So even though it looks like I'm going to be doing something silly, it's really not. You need to, again, follow along in order to get the uh, achievement, which is going to be right here. There it is. So make sure you do that. And then, again, as always, you can just carry on and uh, just get to the end of the level. Now, obviously what you're going to see is not mistakes, um, but the, obviously again, it, it can be confusing. So what you'll see is me sort of going, again, no mistakes, not really the wrong way, um, but you'll see a lot of me trying to fall off the edge when I'm actually not trying to fall off the edge, if you know what I mean. Um, but again, I do hope that this guide is helpful for you guys but again this is like the third i think it's like the third guide in a row where i'm not going to be speaking much oh, well aren't the ones who hate my voice going to be lucky and bloody lovely with this and i'm sorry to the ones that do love my voice but i'll be back with a big game pass game after this one yeah <laughs> yeah
So, welcome to the third and final machine here, Eula. Now, if you go ahead and press the left trigger, Eula, as you can see, has two attachments on him, as he is a tromboner. If I hear the word tromboner one more time, I'm going to lose my head. Uh, so, yes, 
There's two attachments, which again, if you've just been getting used to Rue and Quat, well, I'm afraid I got some bad news. You gotta get used to this guy as well. So it is still the right trigger in order to change the characters in just a little bit, but it'll always be the left trigger in order to swap the uh, Eula's tromboner attachments. So, you know, well, get used to the boners, everyone. The trom boners, as it were. Uh, by the way, uh, there's a genuine riveting story in this. The game looks brilliant, um, but I didn't realize just three machines become, trying to become musicians had such a riveting, awesome story. Introging. <laughs>
Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so a couple of questions here. How would two, machi two machines like that even make the proverbial love? I suppose he is a tromboner after all. Um, but unfortunately, their relationship ended even faster than uh, Britney Spears and Jason Alexander's marriage, which was, uh, that came in at 55 hours. Uh, Nicolas Cage and Erica Koik, that was only a four-day marriage. Eddie Murphy married Tracy Edmonds, that was 14 days. Um, yeah. That's, uh, my God. Nicolas Cage, again, and Lisa Marie Presley, 107. And, uh, yes, I'm just reading these off uh, Google right now. I'm genuinely intrigued. But this trombone marriage lasted even quicker than those guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nah, who doesn't love a happy ending? That's what I mean. This uh, short yet confusingly, slightly uh, confusing puzzle game had a very mega story from rags to riches, from love to nothing. It's uh, <laughs> That was one intense story. Genuinely a lot better than most um, AAA games these days, anyway. Okay, so now you should be on, if you take a look now, you should be on 12 out of 13 achievements. So again, after the credits roll, we are going to play just a couple more levels, um, a specific ones. So again, just follow uh, the same ones that I do, and then follow along in order to get your last achievement, and then I will end it here. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game, and I really hope that the guide helped as well as we go to Recording Studio Take 1 on the last level. Um, uh, big shout out as always to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. So thank you so much for watching again, guys and gals. I will see you in the next one. Big love.